So if you've ever been confused by the difference between WordPress.com, WordPress.org, Tumblr, Squarespace, and all the other different blogging platforms that you have to choose from, in this lesson, choosing your blog platform, we're gonna sort all of that out. Now I know we all love free, but when it comes to building a serious business from your blog, free is not always the best deal. Now many of the free blogging platforms such as WordPress.com, Tumblr, and Blogger, also known as Blogspot, they really limit the way that users can make money from their own blogs. And when you're building your blog for business, you wanna make sure that you have 100% control over all of your content and all of the ways that you can monetize and make money from that blog. You know, free blogging platforms, they don't have as many features. They don't have all the fancy plugins or the optimization options such as wordpress.org or other platforms like Squarespace. And like I just mentioned, you want to make sure that you have as much control over your information, your images, your files, and your products as possible. You don't want to wake up one day and then your blog is completely gone and all of that hard work that you've put into has just vanished into thin air because number one, that platform decided that they wanted to shut down or that your content was not meeting the requirements or standards for that particular blog platform. Okay, that would be devastating and we don't want that. Free platforms do not offer the same level of ownership. So what I want to do is I want to break down the pros and cons of each blogging platform and this is where we're going to be talking about which platform is best for you depending on what it is that you want to accomplish and it's going to really help you sort out and figure out which platform is best for you. So let's talk about wordpress.org. Not to be confused with WordPress.com. WordPress.com, bad. WordPress.org, good. Okay, so the pros of WordPress.org, it's easy to use. There's tons of free web tutorials and courses and online resources and tools that you can tap into that will really help you to build up your WordPress blog. There are a ton of customized themes and designs. WordPress makes it super easy for you to integrate with a ton of third-party apps, plugins, and add-ons that will help to improve the functionality and appearance of your blog. WordPress is SEO friendly, and you have the ability to monetize your WordPress blog. You can add products, you can add ads, you can integrate an e-commerce site. So all of that is possible within wordpress.org. And you're also able to integrate with most payment systems and shopping carts. Now, as great and wonderful as WordPress is, there are some cons. There is a little bit of a learning curve. It is going to take you some time to get familiar with the dashboard, with how it works, um, integrating plugins, and just making sure that you know how to use the software. It can also be a little bit hard to set up more advanced features on your own. So if you're looking to integrate, say, a membership site, then you may need to have some outside help or hire someone who is able to set that up for you so you're not, you know, blowing your mind trying to figure that stuff out on your own because it can get a little bit technical. Another con is that you may need to learn a little bit of code or hire someone to get the desired look and feel of your blog. So like I said, there's a million and one different plugins, but if you're not able to find those plugins or um, figure out exactly what it is that you need to do to kind of get your desired look, then you can just hire that out if you don't want to spend hours and hours trying to learn code and figure all that stuff out on your own. So who is WordPress.org best for? WordPress.org is best for bloggers and solo entrepreneurs who want to grow strong personal brands and want unlimited customization abilities. Okay, even though some of these features may require a developer to help you get it set up. WordPress is really great for most small business websites, for people with a medium to high proficiency with computers. So if you don't know how to turn on your computer and hop on the internet, then WordPress might be a little bit too hard or too technical 
for you. So that's something to keep in mind. Now the cost, the software itself is free and you can usually find a hosting plan that's somewhere between $4 and $20 per month. I use HostGator and I absolutely love it. And we'll talk more about how to set up your web hosting a little bit later, but that is an investment that you will have to keep in mind as well. So there may be additional costs if you're investing, say, in a premium theme or hiring someone to design and or develop the code um, of your site from scratch. So if you want something super custom, then it's going to cost you a little bit of money to make that happen. Now, the next option that I would recommend is Squarespace. And Squarespace is super simple to learn and to modify. It is really taking off with a lot of creative entrepreneurs. It is search engine friendly. It has um, a lot of professional and creative themes that you can choose from. And it has a very simple shopping cart and payment system that will allow you to accept credit cards and payments. And that is built in to the software. Now the cons is that you may run into limits on functionality. It is not as robust as WordPress is. And depending on what you need for your site, you may not be able to um, tweak it or customize it quite how you had envisioned just because of those limitations. And it does not accept PayPal natively. Okay, so that's something that you may want to keep in mind as well. Okay. Now, Squarespace is best for those of you who want to blog, but you do not want to take a long time learning how to set up a blog or customize a blog so it has a shorter learning curve than WordPress does. People who want, um, it's for people who want the ability to sell products with almost no extra setup. And it's for those of you who wish to have fewer theme options to choose from so that you do not get overwhelmed. Now the cost with Squarespace, it starts at $12 per month and it increases depending on your needs. Now with Squarespace, you can do a free trial to see how you like it and you can find an affordable developer online. You can go to fiverr.com or upwork.com and they'll be able to help you customize and personalize your Squarespace theme as you envision. Now the third option that I would recommend is Shopify. Now Shopify is really, really great for e-commerce type sites. Okay, Shopify has a ton of advanced shopping cart options. If you're gonna be handling a ton of inventory, shipping and handling, taxes, automated emails to customers, and those types of things, then Shopify might be a good option for you. They have a ton of professional um, and good looking themes. It's SEO friendly, and it has a very simple shopping cart and payment system as well for you to be able to accept credit cards and that is built into their system. Now the cons is that not as many blogging options um, as a blogger might want. Okay, so if your focus is more on getting information out, selling your own products, not necessarily physical products, but more online digital type products, then Squarespace or WordPress is gonna be a better option. And also Shopify can get quite expensive. So Shopify is best for bloggers and solopreneurs who will have a ton of inventory or handling lots of discounts, coupon codes, and shipping options. It's good for those who want quality themes and are okay with a medium learning curve. Shopify is also really great for those of you who want a substantial library of apps and access to customer support. And the cost is anywhere between $29 up to $299 a month. So when I said it gets a little bit expensive, it can get a little bit expensive, okay? So they do have what's called Shopify Lite, which really defeats the purpose of building your own blog. But I just wanted to mention it here. Shopify Lite, it starts at $9 a month and it lets you actually sell on Facebook. So you can see that Shopify is really a, um, almost like a, a, a seller storefront versus more of a blogging type option. So 
they have a free trial available and there are tons of affordable Shopify developers online. Like I said, go to Upwork.com or Fiverr.com for those people who can, you know, um, personalize and customize your site. Shopify also allows um, simple access to your code. So it makes it really easy for developers to go in and really customize your site. So I just gave you the rundown on the only three blogging platforms that I would even, you know, want you to consider anything like wordpress.com, Tumblr, or Wix. I would say scratch that out right now if you are really serious about building a business around your blog. There's just too many limitations. You do not own um, your content and you wanna make sure that you have 100% complete ownership and control over everything that you do and the way that you monetize your business. So how do you actually choose your platform? It's gonna come down to these things. How much of a learning curve exists and how much time you have to devote to learning your new platform. How you plan to manage your blog long-term. Will you do everything yourself? Will you have collaborators? Will you be hiring someone? If so, how easy will it be for these other people to actually learn your platform as well? The features that you need, such as shopping carts, sales platforms, additional um, functionality that you may want to include into your blog. So you want to make sure that when you are looking at the different platforms, do they fit the criteria or do they have the tools and resources that are available to you to make sure that you can bring your blog to life the way that you want it. Next, you want to make sure that each of the platforms is search engine friendly. When you're creating content, you want to know that Google is going to be able to index your content so that you can actually get found. The next thing you want to consider is how easy it's going to be to customize and personalize your blog. You want to make sure that your blog represents your brand. So how easy is it going to be depending on the platform options that you're looking into for you to achieve that. Next, you wanna consider the level of support that you'll need. So what I love about WordPress is that there is a huge community of both free and paid support. There's documentation, there's training, there's tutorials, and you can just hop on Google and type in wordpress.org and you'll see thousands of different videos out there that will help you to build and grow your WordPress blog the right way. Okay, so before moving on to the next step, you wanna make sure that you have your blog platform on lock. If you are still confused as to which blogging platform that you want to move forward with, download the Pick My Blog Platform playbook. And what it's gonna do is gonna help you to choose the best platform for you based on the features and the goals that you have for your blog.